Hey Aries, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for this week for April. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. If this reading resonates for you, I do encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to the right so you are aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. I am available for personal love readings as well. You can catch me on my website or Etsy. I offer them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. Quick turnaround, only about two to four days. I also have my Tarot Oracle deck, Spiritual Jewelry Cheat Sheets there. All right, so your bonus extended reading for April, How Does Your Person Feel, is up on Vimeo. Check it out if you're interested. All right, my Aries, what's going on with Aries and love? Clear, concise, accurate messages for Aries. What's going on this week for Aries? The Hierophant, okay, so that's the challenge, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who's giving you a hard time at this commitment, okay? I feel like some of you guys, you want commitment from this person, you're not getting it. This could be someone you're dealing with, like a Taurus who is um, not committal, okay? There's a non-committal energy here. Um, the challenge is a commitment, okay? It's like what, you, what you're aspiring for, what your goal is. So there's something here about this commitment is challenging you. Maybe there are a lot of obstacles or uh, disagreements within this partnership that you're in, whoever you're committed to. So let's see how this all plays out, you guys. Give me the recent past energy for Aries. Ace of Wands, there you go. Knight of Wands and a Death. In the past, it looks like something here started really quickly, okay? I'm getting, you know, really took off. This is someone here that you have a lot of chemistry with, a lot of attraction, a lot of desire, passion. Um, I really feel like things were really um, off and started on a good note, okay? Um, but there was an ending, okay? So I need to find out what happened here. I feel like it started very quickly and ended very quickly, you could be dealing with a very uh, immature energy. The Knight of Wands can also be your energy. Uh, maybe you are just not really ready. Okay, someone may have not been ready. Okay, I feel like things had potential to move forward, perhaps. But I'm going to find out what this ending is. It could be the need for change. Maybe someone was unwilling to change their way, their viewpoint. This could be a Scorpio. Now, the current energy is the Three of Pentacles in a verse. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles in verse. Definitely is um, the current energy. It looks like you guys just don't get along. It's telling me that you guys are just not really compatible or there's something going on where you have a different viewpoint than this person. And therefore, you guys are clashing, okay? There's some clashing going on. That Ram, you guys are a little bit stubborn and they feel uh, very strongly about a certain thing as well. So... I do see the Page of Swords. I do think both of you guys really would like to talk right now. There is the energy of trying to uncover, like, what's going on? What's the other person doing? How are they feeling? Um, there is the very investigative, I would say, nosy energy, okay? You guys can be kind of checking each other's social media's uh, accounts right now and pages. I do think you guys both want some kind of partnership, some kind of companionship with each other. I do see that energy, but there is a challenge of agreeing, okay, getting along, three of pentacles, coming together, collaborating. All right, so let's see what's on your mind, Aries. Give me some more information here. Three of wands and the five of cups in a verse. Now, Aries, you could be feeling some kind of regret or disappointment as to how something happened in the past, the way it happened, maybe your response to it, what you could have said. There are some regrets. There are some, there's some sadness here. Now, with the three of wands here, I do feel like Aries, you're waiting for this person. You're waiting for them to uh, reach out to you. You're waiting for them to speak up. There's something you're waiting for with regard to this person. It's almost like they haven't taken action here. And you've been expecting them to. Let's see what's going on with whoever you're dealing with. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. So whoever you're dealing with, the Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Let's get these cards out. Six of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoever you're dealing with, Aries, I do think this person is thinking about you. We have... Um, all these sixes and sixes in tarot talks about returning to a state of harmony, of balance, right? It also uh, can speak about reciprocity. So there's something here that has to be done, obviously, before you guys can come back. Before this person can return, 
they realize that something has to give someone has to change right be willing to change the death card be willing to compromise okay so i do see this person aries really does care for you the knight of cups is here i do see them wanting to offer you love wanting to offer you their cup the knight of cups okay they do care they have feelings for you but I feel like there's something you guys have to speak about. And that's how they proceed and how they would like to move forward with you. They want to have an important conversation. Okay, that King of Swords is like, let's get to the bottom of this. Let's speak about this. Let's be honest and truthful with each other. Because otherwise, it's not going to be victorious. Otherwise, the situation just isn't going to be balanced. It's not going to be fair. It's going to be one-sided. You know, there's something here where... It has to be done this way, okay? It has to be done this way. Again, sixes are about returning to a state of equilibrium, balance, harmony, right? So there's a way to go about this is what it's telling me. And um, let's see what the outcome looks like. Outcome here, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, we have an apology, a Page of Cups, and the Magician. I love the outcome. So what we're seeing here is that there will be someone here who's going to extend an offer saying, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I was wrong. I care for you. Here are my thoughts. Here is a heartfelt offer. Do you uh, forgive me? Okay, how about it? The Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, it certainly could be this person, doesn't have to be. What it looks like is that there's going to be some kind of exchange between the both of you. Five of Pentacles in verse where you're going to be able to get out of the cult with this person. You're going to be able to come back together in some way, okay? Uh, I would say it's definitely a reconciliation with that Page of Cups and the Magician definitely brings more energy to this, okay? It, it allows something to finally come together or uh, if there's something you've been manifesting, it's coming together. It's falling into place. The Magician is also um i mean it looks like honestly with the magician that this has the ability to really manifest right you know really manifest itself so let's jump right in let's get some more clarity for you guys if this is your reading you know what to do my aries show me your love and support like share comment and subscribe all right let's jump in the hierophant there's some challenges with this commitment and this could be literally like someone you're dating, right? It could be, it doesn't mean have to be like a full-blown commitment, okay? But you're committed to some kind of friendship, partnership, getting to know this person. Maybe you're just committed to that, right? Why is the Hierophant here? It could be a Taurus. The devil in the Eight of Swords and Birth. Someone here is an overthinker. Someone thinks too much. <laughs> I want to say too much because I feel like this overthinking has gotten away of this connection from progressing in some way, form. I feel with the devil card, there's something that someone has to acknowledge and address and let go, part ways with, because it's not serving you, it's not serving them, it's not serving the connection, okay? So this could be a Capricorn. I do feel like this uh, Eight of Swords could be fears, self-limiting thoughts, insecurities that someone may have that is they're bringing into this connection. Now, in the recent past, we have all this ugh, fire energy. It's like quick. Give me the energy. Maybe it started off like friend with benefits, you know, <laughs> very sexual. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in verse. It looked, it looks like it was very more physical than anything. Um, I'm getting definitely a physical connection. The Ace of Pentacles. Um, you guys hit it off on a physical, on the physical realm. Let's just say that. But there was an idea of, of happiness. What's coming afterward, right? Where is this going? And I think that someone didn't really think about that. I feel like there was this new beginning. You know, you guys were moving forward. And some person, I'm getting one person in particular, may have been interested in a commitment. The other person, I don't think so. I don't think that this other person, maybe who you're dealing with, was interested in a commitment. And maybe you are Aries, okay? So take it how it resonates. And so someone here wasn't happy. Someone knew that they wouldn't be happy with just a friend with benefits only type of connection. And so something here ended. The world and the temperance. Now, I do feel, Aries, if this is you wanting a commitment, I do think you gave this person some time. I don't think that all of a sudden, like day three, okay, I want a commitment. No, I do think you took your time. You wanted to see, well, where this can go. And after really, you know, realizing that this is someone that you can grow with and have some kind of stability with, I do think you may have presented the idea of a commitment with this person. Now, I do think once you did that, the world in reverse, things started to crumble. Things started to take a turn for the worse i feel this person wasn't ready and so <laughs> you bringing up that c word or the love word l word whatever it made this person put an end to a situation i feel all of a sudden something came to an end someone backed out of it someone wasn't ready that's what it looks like okay so give me the energy of the three of pentacles king of swords and the nine of wands 
someone here um and i almost get the sense this could be you uh it could be a person as well aries it could be a gemini libra career someone definitely still wants to fight for this someone hasn't given up and even though there are some differences and i think a lot of the differences is because of maybe the past you know kind of how things transpired uh maybe your view on commitment right that's the major big difference between you and them but it doesn't mean you're not compatible. It just means that in that particular area, you don't see eye to eye, right? So I do feel like there is a need for um, communication. There's a need for a talk. Someone here wants to talk, Page of Swords. But they may be kind of watching you from afar with that Page of Swords energy. Eight of Pentacles and Two Wands in Verbs. Someone is making a decision. And it's a decision regarding putting effort, time, energy into this connection. Like, how, how can we do that? I think that's what someone is trying to figure out. Because someone still does want to give this a shot. The Two of Wands energy, I feel like someone is unsure about how you feel, Aries. Someone is kind of like, well, how do you feel, Aries, about this? Where do you stand with regard to this connection, okay? So there, there's a decision that someone has to make. Someone has to really figure out what they want. So give me the energy for Aries. We have the Three of Wands. You've been waiting for something here. I think you've been waiting for this person Ooh, the tower and the fool <laughs> aries it's like you've been waiting but you also been kind of going crazy uh while you're waiting you know it's the energy of like okay i'm gonna wait for this person i'm gonna play cool but really you're, you're really going through a tower moment within your your energy you're you're like literally uh screaming you know to yourself because the tower is telling me there's a lot of instability here there's a lot of um What's going to happen? You know, you're freaking out. It's that kind of energy I'm feeling. I don't think this is a true tower moment. I think it's it's the energy that you're feeling because something has ended and you're like, well, what's going on? How, why aren't we having this new beginning? Because the fool is on your mind and you're the past, five of cups. So you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about what you have with this person. You want a new beginning, but you're waiting on them because you feel this person needs to take action toward you, right? So I do see that you guys are kind of freaking out for another uh, another way to say it um give me another energy here for aries yeah the six of cups you want to reconcile so it makes perfect sense you want this new beginning you want to reconcile you don't really want this to be done but there's also energy will let me back up to allow this person to come forward so give me the energy of the knight of cups in the foundation there is someone who wants to offer you love yeah I, the seven of wands and the eight of wands and i do see them coming in Okay, not only with the love offer, but with a lot of communication. Eight of Wands. Finally, things are moving forward. There's movement, communication, action of some sort. Seven of Wands is giving me indication that someone is still wanting to fight for what this is. Still fighting for what um, they can have with you. Someone does want to protect this connection is what it looks like to me. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse? Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in verse. Now, I do think this person, during this downtime of separation, they've had a, some time to think about maybe how they showed up. Maybe they didn't put their best foot forward. We have a situation that has not been victorious. There could have been a situation where someone here, like your person, expected more from you than what they gave. And I feel like they're realizing that they're not happy where they are. They're not happy where they are without you. And they're feeling left out in the cold. So this is someone here who I do think the separation could actually be a good thing for them. Because they're realizing what they did have with you and what they don't have now. Right? They're at a complete loss. And I feel like this person's really thinking about what would really make them happy. Right? What would make them happy with the Nine of Cups. So... Give me the King of Swords. This is someone here who wants to see themselves moving forward with you with the King of Swords energy. They, ooh, Emperor. Emperor and Ace of Wands. I like it. So this person wants to talk to you about uh, taking charge of this connection, the Emperor, about moving forward, being that provider, protector, being that person you can rely on, someone that you can trust, that you can, um, you know, rest assured that they got it. They gotta, they're going to take things <laughs> uh, under control. Okay, they got it. They're, they're handling things. Ace of Wands, they want to come in with this, with this new passionate beginning, new start. Um, this is someone here who definitely sees you as someone they very much desire. And so I don't think this is done. The Ace of Wands came out in the past. It's here in their energy as well. This person got the hots for you. Now, I do see an apology coming through. This could be an apology because they do want to manifest change with you. They do want to turn the situation around. This apology is going to come after a period of a deep thinking, deep thought. Okay, introspection. I feel this person needs a break. And I think, again, this break, this separation or downtime could be a really good thing. I know Aries, you're kind of like, why? But I feel like it could be a really good thing because this person is uh, 
realizing that, you know, there are some things that they've done that have contributed to this ending. And there are things that they can do differently, right? Six of Pentacles in verse, I could reciprocate more. I could be a little bit less stingy or less selfish. You know, there's things that they can do better as well. And I think they're realizing that when they don't have you or during this downtime of deep thought, reflecting in a work, the hermit, right? Going within, looking uh, for answers. It's a good thing for both of you guys. Let's just say that way. So definitely a break here with the Four of Swords. And I even get this, there's some stress here and anxiety that they're going to be feeling like, oh my gosh, I, I miss Aries. I want to be around Aries again. Five of Pentacles in verse. There's something physical. Yes, physical. Seven of Pentacles. This person misses your touch. They miss being with you. Seven of Pentacles is like they're reflecting and thinking of uh, what they could have had, um, what they could have in the future as well, right? But there's definitely something physical. There's a physical piece here, okay? Whether it's your touch or your, your caress, your, your back rubs or something like that. <laughs> Why is the magician card here? They want to manifest this. I think this has the ability to manifest, but it's a decision, two of swords. And this two of swords in reverse is like it's about getting out of your head, right? Cutting out something, finally making a firm, solid decision ahead of a hard decision about moving forward. Two swords, okay? So that is what I'm seeing. It does look like this is um, coming together quite nicely after a break or a brief pause here, I would say. And I even would say this person is the one who's going to reach out with this apology. The Knight of Cups is here. A lot of communication coming in. The King of Swords as well. Ace of Wands. This is your person who's moving towards you, okay? And you're just waiting. You're like, I'm over here. I'm waiting. I have a tower moment going on, but you know what? I'm waiting. And so I do think this person's going to reach out. Aries, that's what I have. <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. I appreciate it greatly for your love and support. Just want to take a moment and thank you all so, so, so very much. And uh, I'll check you guys out later. Have a great week. Bye.